Right now, economists are anxiously waiting for big companies like Microsoft and General Electric to release their earnings. They say if we want to know where the economy is headed, we should pay close attention. As Jen Sullivan reports, one major company is warning about a possible global recession. Soaring inflation and interest rates in the U.S. and a war and energy crisis overseas. And now at least one major multinational corporation is sounding the alarm warning that a global recession could be ahead. The recession risks are high everywhere, and in many parts of the world, a lot higher than they are here. FedEx says the weakening economy could cause it to fall $500 million short of its revenue target. The shipping giant says it's temporarily parking some cargo planes and closing offices after demand for packages crumbled. Earlier this month, FedEx CEO was asked if he thinks we're headed for a global recession. Well, I'm not an economist, but you know, oh, I'll, you I'll, know more than economists. Come on, they don't. Uh, they just push papers. You actually look at papers. Well, I, 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 I think so. Meanwhile, many independent contractors who make deliveries for the company are raising concerns, saying rising costs for fuel, labor, and new vehicles have made their businesses unprofitable, with some threatening to halt operations on Black Friday. Experts say because FedEx ships a huge variety of goods across the world, it's a good measure of how the global economy is doing. Economists say FedEx is also struggling with a big shift in consumer preferences as the economy opens up and we're not buying as many online goods compared to earlier in the pandemic. The shift in what consumers are spending on their money on is really having a big impact on companies like, uh, like FedEx. But is the slowdown at FedEx isolated? Experts say we'll find out soon as earnings reports from retailers and manufacturers are released in the coming weeks. That data could give investors a better idea of how the economy is doing amid growing recession fears. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan.